name is Chuck Wilkie, and I am the organizer of the annual BCC meeting on flame retardancy. This meeting has been running for 25 years in the past. This year will be the 26th annual meeting. It is far and away the longest running flame retardant meeting in the world. At this year's meeting, which will be held in Stamford, Connecticut from May 18th to 20th in 2015, we will have six different sessions covering a variety of topics. The first session will be on commercial products and we will have talks which are given primarily from industrial folk and government laboratory people and they will cover such topics as lithium ion batteries, airplanes, and printed circuit boards. The second section deals with foams and fabrics. Foams and fabrics are one of the fastest growing areas of fire retardancy and the need for fire retardants. This section will feature talks on the layer-by-layer -layer approach to fire retardancy, as well as other approaches, including conventional approaches, such as phosphorus-based fire retardants, and how foams and fabrics burn. The third section will be on nanocomposites. Nanocomposites are a very interesting area that are seen to be of great interest in the world. The nanodimensional materials that will be covered in this section include POS, layered double hydroxides, clays, and carbon nanotubes. The fourth session is on, is on phosphorus-based fire retardants. We all know that chlorine and bromine, particularly bromine, had been the most popular fire retardant, but due to environmental concerns, the use of bromine fire retardants has been somewhat restricted, and phosphorus has become more and more important. This will be an interesting session in which we will hear about new phosphorus-based fire retardants. This will be followed by a section on New fire, new fire retardants and fire retardants for specific polymers. Things such as fire retardants based on saline and fire retardants for ethylene vinyl acetate copolymer will be covered in this section. Finally, we will have a session on instrumentation. One has to first of all devise a fire retardant, but then one has to evaluate the burning of that material which requires the need for instrumentation. This meeting will have approximately 150 to 200 people in attendance. The mix of attendees is roughly 50% acad or the, the mix of, a t of speakers is roughly 50% academic and 50% industrial and government laboratories. Attendees are going to be more dominantly from the industry. We look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.